So Danny, so tell us about Carlytics in terms of uh, the service you provide in the banking sector and sort of why you're in that position, um, your, your unique sort of um, capabilities there. Yeah, so we're, we're really what you would say a native ad platform built within banks' digital channels. So if you were to open up your bank app and see a bunch of cash back offers and ads there, that's all powered by us. For banks, it drives a loyalty solution that gets people more engaged with their digital properties. But for advertisers, we use purchase data. Uh, we see about $2.8 trillion in purchase data through our relationships with the banks. And we use that to help marketers make more informed decisions based on where people are shopping. So what are the expectations from marketers and how is, how is sort of the whole performance ROI loop closed? That's yeah. a big a a ask I know these days. Yeah, it's, it's important. And for us, it's a little easier since we actually see purchase data. We can actually see very distinctly for the campaigns that we run for marketers, whether someone has actually made a purchase and truly whether it's incremental or not. But it's a big industry issue still. I think it's gotten better and better as people have moved away from proxies and getting smarter at trying to identify whether your media is actually working, whether it's actually meeting real, reaching real people, whether it's actually driving true business results. But um, I think that's why a lot of our clients end up working with us because we can actually see true purchases as a, as a business outcome. And tell me why you're here at Advertising Week, what you hope to learn and what you would like to share. Yeah, we, uh, I personally love Advertising Week. I've been going for a long time. It's nice having it mostly in one venue now. Um, Advertising Week is always uh, pretty inspirational for me because it's nice to get a finger on the pulse of what's going on. Um, I'm moderating a panel with some clients later this afternoon. We have a bunch of other colleagues up on the stage just sharing what we see across the board um, on our own platform and then with our clients. But uh, for the week, I actually have a pretty big team here because it's always a nice educational way and it's nice to see industry friends and, and to keep a finger on the pulse of what's going on. And the little sneak preview of this afternoon, what do you hope to come out of that? Um, it's, it's always really nice to be able to showcase what our clients are doing. So we're speaking with the woman who runs integrated marketing at Lowe's and the gentleman who runs e-commerce at Advance Auto Parts. And uh, they've got some interesting stuff going. We're talking about omni-channel and omni-consumers and how the game has really changed for retailers because it's not just about brick and mortar versus e-commerce. It's really about putting the consumer first and thinking about how to address them in a way that uh, is convenient and consistent every single time they want to go.